Hey guys, it's Andriana Janae and I'm back with another word. Um, so this is kind of like a two-in-one. The first part of it is specifically for kingdom marriages. God is saying to, to bring all offenses to me. God said, bring all offenses to me. When you go into this marriage, he is saying to bring your offenses to him. When you're walking into your marriage, it's going to be new for the both of you guys. Um, regardless if you were previously married and you're coming and you're being restored back to each other, there's a newness that's taking place in this marriage. So it's not going to be like it was before. If you're marrying someone that you're just meeting, if you are being restored back to um, a boyfriend or girlfriend and y'all are walking into marriage, God is saying it's new and it's new ground and it's new territory and he's wanting you to bring all offenses to him. So your husband or your wife, they could do something and they, or they can say something. And God is saying, and bring it to him. Address how you feel with God. And he will either give you a different perspective or he will go ahead and correct your other spouse. But being that you guys are coming into this marriage and again, it's new. There are y'all are still learning each other y'all are learning each other in this newness y'all are learning to be together in this newness so god doesn't want you to step outside of yourself either going into it with how you went about certain situations previously or how you went about certain situations in previous relationships god is saying bring your offenses to him so that he is able to be the middleman through you guys' relationship as y'all um develop a deeper intimacy and understanding of one another so that was the first part of the word the lord is just saying bring all offenses to him and again he will do the correction that needs to be done you know, um so the lord wanted me to come on here and speak to those who are stepping into new territories, stepping into new grounds, whether that be a marriage, whether that be a new business, a ministry, um, a promotion, a job, wherever it is that you are stepping into that God is about to usher you into, he is saying to not to trust in your own ability, not to lean on your own understanding, but to tap into his spirit. Um, this is for you. God wanted to speak to somebody who is fearful right now of where they're about to walk into. If you're walking into your marriage, if you're walking into that promotion, God is saying there's no reason to fear. There's no reason to fear if you'll mess up. There's no reason to fear if you're capable of doing a good job or capable of sustaining the marriage or sustaining the position because you are doing it through his strength and through his spirit do not lean on your own strength god is saying there's no reason to fear because he's bringing you to it that means he'll bring you through it okay so anything that we receive from god is going to be sustained by god so don't get caught up in oh i hope i'll be able to you, you know do it or what if you know past triggers pop up or what if those insecurities start you know uh creeping back in god is saying lean on him depend on him you're going to need him and it, it's only by him you don't have to you don't have to stress and try to figure out if you're capable god is capable enough to get you through it god is capable enough to help you sustain it okay he put it to me it's kind of like having an open book test and not utilizing the book like you have a god who is and you have his spirit to carry you through tap into it okay you have an open book to an open book test there's no way that you can fail there's no way that you can fail unless you do not open your book